Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another base game tutorial. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can build these stairs. As you can see, they are fully functional. And all these objects here are base game. Even these thingies here, they are part of the new environment objects that we received a while ago. And of course, I'm going to explain you everything step by step. But first, I want to kind of dissect what I've built here so you know what's going on. So when I click on this, you can see that this here is a foundation piece and the rest is a bit of terrain magic, which isn't as difficult as it might sound or look. And this here is another foundation piece and this is another one. So now I'm going to show you step by step how you can build this yourself so you can follow along. So first we are going to use the foundation pieces to lay out the whole shape. So you use the flat square, you place it anywhere and you make sure that it's only two tiles wide. And now we create an L shape with this foundation piece. You don't have to worry about the exact dimensions yet. You just want to create an L shape that looks something like that. And now we use another foundation piece and you want to place it over here in the corner and you always leave one tile in between these foundation pieces so you have a little gap going on. The reason for that is because you cannot connect foundation pieces of different heights. So we are going to use the train tools later for this. But first, as I said, we are going to lay out the whole shape. So we want this foundation piece to be seven tiles wide and three tiles high. So here we have seven tiles and here we have three tiles. You can totally change the dimensions. I'm just going to replicate what I've built here, but you can totally do your own thing with this. Now I place another foundation piece over here in the corner and now it's time to change the height of the wonderful L shape that we've built. So you make it lower so it looks like this. So there is again a little gap going on. You don't want this to line up up here. You want to make it a tad lower. And now we use another foundation piece. We place it on top, another one over here and another one over here. So we have a T shape that consists out of four regular foundation pieces. So now we have this, we have the L shape. We have this foundation piece that is three tiles high and seven tiles long. And now we have this little T-shape over here. Now it's time to finally increase the height of the foundation pieces. So we're going to start off with this one over here and you make it higher. And you want to make sure that this one here is not too high because later we're going to use these stone walls here to hide the edges. And if you make this too high, the top is going to stick out. And we are going to place the first stairs now. I'm using the sturdy stairs. As I said, this is a base game tutorial, so I'm only using base game stuff here. So you can completely recreate this and replicate the style and all that. But of course, if you own any packs, you could use any stairs for this. I'm going to place them over here. So the edge of the stairs over here is lining up with this foundation piece, as you can tell. And these are three tiles wide. So now I want to make sure that I have exactly three steps. So one, two, three, exactly like the stairs that I've used over here. This is the guideline for the foundation height. So we can later hide the edges with the little stone fence, as I said. And now we increase the height of this foundation piece. So when you make this higher, you see that these white lines are popping up. And these guidelines are telling you that this foundation piece has the exact same height as the other one. And we want to make this only one step higher, exactly one step. And the reason for that is because we create this little step over here. And as long as the height difference is only one step, your Sims will be able to use this just like any regular step. So you don't have to attach any stairs over here. This alone, this little step is completely functional and works like regular stairs. So now I have a little height difference over here, exactly one step. And now I can change the height of the little T shape as well. Here you can make it a bit higher if you want 
would like to this comes more down to personal preference but i'm going to make it as high as the other one so i'm going to attach the stairs now and i'm going to take a look here here we have exactly four steps and the same is the case over here so this is looking good and now we're going to add another foundation piece because when you take a look over here we have this little flower bed area and this area has the exact same height as this first landing so we will now place another piece of foundation over here so it looks something like this. So this is what we got now. I'm going to show you this. So in case you want to pause this, you can exactly see what's going on here. And now it's time to fill in the gaps with the terrain tool, which is really, really simple. You simply go to the terrain tools and then you click on the flatten terrain tool. And I'm going to use the smallest brush over here. And now I click on the bottom foundation. So this foundation is lower than this one. As you know, we have raised this only one step. So this one here is lower and I click on the lower one. I hold down my left mouse button and now I simply fill in the gap just like that. If I would have clicked on this one, it would have adjusted the height according to this foundation piece. So you always want to make sure in this case that you click on the lower one. And of course you can create any type of patio with this, other types of stairs. This is just a fun way to create foundation pieces on the exterior. It's not possible to build any house with this really because you cannot connect the walls and the roofing. It's a nightmare, <laughs> but you can build some really fun stuff with this on the exterior. So now I'm going to fill in the terrain over here as well. And this will create a funny little slope over here, but we are going to fill this in with some decoration with a couple of bushes. But for now, this is what we got. And now we want to apply floor. As I said, we're going to use only base game stuff. So I'm filtering for base game. And over here you can filter for color. I'm filtering for white and I'm clicking on show all. And now I'm going to pick this one, the classy large format marble tiles. And I'm using these to only fill in the areas that I want to be my Sims pass basically. So it looks like this. So just like here, I have this little pass. And for the other sections, we have to use something that looks very much like soil. And I'm simply going to filter for base game again. And when I now go to show all and I scroll all the way down, there is a floor called the bottom of the basement. And I'm using the darkest swatch here, a dark brown, and it looks like soil. Even if you're on all the packs, this is just an excellent choice to create something that looks very much like soil. So now we fill in all these wonderful areas to create a flower bed. And up here we are going to do the same and then we have this little slope that I mentioned earlier that we are going to fill in so that's not a problem at all for us and now it looks like that. And now the fun part begins. We are going to apply a foundation color and then in a second we are going to use a little sheet so we can access the new environment objects that we got a while ago. So we can actually use this fence and these little slabs over here so what you want to do is you open up your cheat console and then you enter the cheat bb dot show live edit objects and then you click into the search bar you simply enter world you press enter and then these are all the new objects. We also want to activate the good old move objects sheet. So for this, you once again open up your cheat console and you enter the move objects sheet. You can simply enter move objects, but you could also enter on or off. I'm going to add on here because it's already activated and I would deactivate it. So you simply enter bb.move objects or bb.move objects on this. It doesn't matter. It's the same. 
So now we have all these objects down here and because we have activated the move object sheet we can place them anywhere we want. And when you take a look at all these objects there are some wonderful base game stone walls and we are going to scroll down a little bit and then we see this one here the small world fence and these three objects are the objects that we are going to use for this there is a shorter one and a longer one available and you cannot copy debug objects so unfortunately we have to place every single one individually and now I'm placing this fence down here. And now when I'm holding down Alt, and this only works when you have activated the Sims 3 camera up here, I highly recommend it if you are into building. It may take some time until you get used to it if you have been using the Sims 4 camera, but it's just an excellent choice for building. So activate the Sims 3 camera. And then when you hold down Alt, you can place it like this it's not snapping to the grid and then we simply place it as close to the foundation as possible so if you go too close it's jumping up and now this looks good now I'm using another piece and again I'm holding down alt and I kind of try to find the sweet spot here which is a little bit harder with with the second one apparently I think we have to adjust this one accordingly so we have yeah there's no gap it's working so you just kind of have to fiddle around with it until it looks good and now we use the longer one and we're going to place this up here on the foundation because we have a raised section over here that we cannot get rid of this is what happens when you fill in these gaps here where the terrain is meeting the foundation you will always have a little kind of slope going on so we will place this one up here and then we use this object the small world fence with posts we place it over here we size it up one step I'm holding down all to kind of position it and then we have this now I'm of course also placing a fence over here another one and again it's acting funny and another post I'm sizing it up and I place it in the corner so it looks like this and then as you can see here we are going to place the fences up here on the foundation again so I'm using the smaller one and I place it up here and I have to merge two of them together here. This is the good thing about the move object sheet. You can simply merge them like that. <laughs> and then we have this and now we have a height difference so once again we can simply use another post so we can just hide this little area. I'm going to raise this a little bit so it looks like this. And now another one over here. And you simply place them however you like so it looks all nice and tidy. Always make sure that they kind of align properly, that you can merge them and the alt trick is tremendously helping here. So you can simply place them inside of each other basically. And now we are actually going to push back the foundation a bit so the fence uh, fits into this gap. I made this a bit too big so now we can place the fence inside the gap and it looks like this i now have to go back to the world area because as i've said you cannot copy these objects and now we close this area up over here i'm going to use one of the longer pieces here and a small one and i'm going to place another of these in the corner I think because it doesn't look exactly perfect so now it looks like this and now it's time to apply these funny 
decoration objects here and for this you just scroll down a little again we are filtered for base games so it's much easier to find these and we have all these cool objects down here so now it's important that you are picking the correct ones i'm going to place this one down and this one so i have found that when you're using these over here your sims are able to walk over them i've just shown you that these stairs are functional but in the beginning when I was working on the tutorial before I made this video I checked if these here would work but these don't work these for whatever reason blocked the paths of my sims so these weren't working but these are working so there are others that have the same look and all of these work so you kind of want to have this pattern I mean you see the difference so you can use any of these i'm not sure about these ones actually but we can use these but don't use this one if i would place this over here for example my sim wouldn't be able to walk over this and even if i would place it like this my sim would always walk around this which just looks weird so i don't recommend doing this simply use these ones i'm sizing them up so i can place them in the center and here you can be creative once again and you can arrange them however you like but these perfectly fit into these three by three foundation pieces and over here we have a gap and i will simply place three of the smaller ones so it looks nice but you can just decorate it however you like but I think that this looks good and I'm going to use the longer the rectangular one over here so now I have this and as you can tell over here I use these wood planks and you can also find them in this area somewhere you just have to look for them quickly so when you are here where we have just used the ah, it's called the slate pavement tile when you then scroll down a little bit again we have filtered for base game you can then find the wooden plank over here and we will simply place it around this area again i'm holding down alt so i'm able to place it where i want because when it's stepping to the grid it's not looking good and then i place it all around this area this just adds a bit of detail you don't have to do that but i think that it looks good it just yeah adds a bit of detail and makes it look more interesting and as soon as you've activated this cheat you will see that there are many many fun things so now we have this slope here and actually we can use this wood plank when you size it up you could simply place it over here so you don't have to use any bushes if you don't want to this way it looks nice and clean but if you are using anything else maybe it would kind of change the whole look so now we can use these birch trees these are simply base game trees once again you can use any trees i sized a couple of them down for this look over there and i'm going to I'm going back to the area where we have found the environment debug objects and I'm going to use some more of these so I can create a little kind of path like this. To create the look fully I'm going to use more of these and then we have something like this of course you could add any type of house over here over here I have just built some type of room you can just build anything and now that you have learned this technique of connecting foundation pieces with the terrain tool you can create any type of stairs but i felt like these look very modern and fancy at the same time i could totally see this for some type of mid-century build but yeah these are the stairs if you have any questions as always leave a comment down below and i will get back to you thank you so much for watching i hope that you have a fantastic week and i hope i see you in the next video bye bye